Welcome to Pure Country Connected. It's Neil Anthony here, and joining me, he is up for Entertainer of the Year, Fans Choice, Male Artist, and Single of the Year for Drop, Dallas Smith. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, boss? Doing great. How are uh, how are things out uh, on the West Coast? That's well, pretty good. I mean, right now the smoke has gone away. We had a, a pretty hazy uh, few weeks there, but um, things are good, man. Things are all right. We're just uh, our numbers are creeping up like everywhere else, but. Yeah, and doing, it is what it doing is. your part, I'm doing my part. It's, uh, exactly. yeah, we're it's we're in a crazy time. I was talking yesterday just how this past summer was so weird because I don't remember a summer where I didn't go to like a giant concert or festival or like just something with thousands of other people. I can't remember a time when I didn't do that. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. It's, uh, you, you know, you, you connect with a fan base a little bit on social media and stuff, but nothing replaces that, um, you know, seeing your fans and 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 uh, feeding off the energy that they give you in the live sense. It, it, you know, it feel pretty disconnected, you know, in that way right now. I'm feeling it's probably the same thing that you're feeling right now. Yeah, it, it, it's just weird because, you know, normally in the summertime, I get to interact with you a little bit and like others at, say, Boots and Hearts or Jen at the Budweiser stage. Those concerts, yeah. which we did last summer when you did the Friends Don't Let Friends Tour Alone, which was a great yep. tour and we got to interact. And then this summer, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's a weird time. Hopefully next summer uh, we get a little bit of that, even if it's a little different, but still have that, you know, being able to connect with each other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. We'll, uh, we'll come out of, this, out of this okay and we'll get back to, I mean, I'm not going to call this a new normal. It's not going to be that. We got to get back to the old normal. It's uh, actually I agree. The I agree. I agree with the old normal because, uh, you know, I want to be sitting there rocking out with the, all the fans and everything. And I know you, I know you do too, because it's absolutely man. 20 plus years you've been touring and it, it's crazy. Um, we've got a new song from you coming out. It's a little different than maybe uh, people have heard. You've got a great songwriter on the song, Hardy. Some things never change. Yeah. Yeah. Hardy. Um, I, uh, I met Hardy quite a while ago before he was, uh, I met him when he was Michael Hardy, not Hardy the artist. Uh, <laughs> he's a big, big writer down in Nashville and he, you know, works for the same producer and in and out of the same building down in Nashville as, I, as myself. So uh, we've crossed paths and uh, I've cut songs by, by Hardy before in the past. Um, but then uh, I got a sneak peek just being in the studio. I got a sneak peek of his stuff before it was released. Joe played me in the studio and um yeah, just be, instantly became more of a fan. We, I realized we were, were uh, um, inspired by a lot of the 90s rock stuff, like Soundgarden. We share some, some similarities in that way. So I, I thought it would be a cool idea to do a song together. And that one popped up and, you know, we, we talked about it and here it is. So was he a big but default fan then? Uh, I don't dare ask him. He knows, he, he knew wasting my time and stuff. But yeah, it's funny, man. All these bigwigs in Nashville. Um, especially in the big, uh, the big loud building. Um, Seth actually, Seth uh, England, president of Big Loud, he came actually to a, a MTV campus invasion tour back in like 2002 as a, as a college guy. So it's really strange how things kind of go around and intertwined with each other. That's exactly, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations <laughs> on the album as well, Timeless, uh, coming out at the end of August. Uh, yeah. Love it from beginning to end. Uh, what what's this album like for you? Be, I mean, you you've put out multiple albums before, but what makes this one different? Um, I don't know. It's just a different chapter in my life, you know. The last couple of years, um, yeah, we just released the fall EP. Uh, love you know, I love the material that we put out with that one. But with the records, I like to actually take a, a full look at. Yeah, you know, like you said, I, I want it to be an experience you listen to front to back, and it's not too much of the same thing and it's kind of an experience from front to back and full of everything you might you might need and um so that's kind of how we finished off the record and it was just kind of plugging the holes and trying to find the right songs in the right spots um to kind of make that overall record flow properly and kind of hopefully like you said be a beginning beginning to end listen that's something you can do and i love that because i think we lost that for a while with albums like you know you and i we grew up in the 80s and the 90s and like you get an album and there'd be songs you'd never hear on the radio, but they were so good. And those albums were good from beginning to end. 
And then we kind of lost that a bit, I think, into the 2000s, the 2010s. And now I think it, it's making its way back, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, I, I remember stop, stopping buying records and stuff. I was like, I got to wait till I hear the second or third single before I, uh, before I commit to buying the record, you know? So we try to create those records that, yeah, front to back, you know, something you can listen to. Well, I, I, I hope everybody's listening to it right now. Timeless is out. It's been out for almost a month. You should pick it up. Uh, this weekend, Sunday night, CCMAs, how excited are you? And I mean, how different it is this? It's an award show. Uh, I gotta, did you watch the ACM Awards last week? I got bits and pieces, yeah. I yeah. loved how they did it. So I don't know how the CCMAs are going to hold up this way as well. But uh, how different is it for you? It's an award show, but you're socially distanced. It was, uh, I, I saw Jess Moskaluk drive by and I saw Jojo Mason for a second. It was all split up. Um, over a long period of time. So we don't, I don't know who won what. I don't, I barely saw anybody. It was just come in with a mask, take it off, do your performance kind of thing. So it, it was the complete opposite of, um, of the normal CCMAs. But you know, the, what, they, what they actually be, were able to pull off is something that was, I'm really proud of what they've been able to do. Um, we don't have as many of those platforms like the U.S. counterparts. Talk to the ACMA, right? It, it, right it's, it's just a lot of award shows down there. We only got one, so I'm really, really proud that they've been able to get, you know, get that going and give us that platform on a national scale. Show what everybody what we can do. Right, 100. Yeah. percent I'm looking forward to everything at nine o'clock Sunday night. Uh, obviously, Entertainer of the Year, Male Artist Single of the Year. You don't have a choice in this. I'm talking to you, the listeners right now, but you do have a choice for fans' choice. Dallas is in that. You should vote for him now, ccma.org. And, unless, Dallas, you think they should vote for somebody else. I think it's too late to vote. I thought it Isn't was it? the end. Oh, it is maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not hyping myself very well then, are I? <laughs> you're, you're just giving more ammo to JBB here. Yeah, 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 that's okay. <laughs> Good boys. Yep. Um, man, I always appreciate talking to you. Uh, I wish it was under different circumstances and we were talking face to face because we like, you know, we talk hockey, we talk music and all that stuff like that. But well, uh, dude, 2021, we'll have lots to talk about. We'll do it in person for sure. But I can't wait. Uh, yeah, you'll have new news, little baby girl on the way later this year. So, congratulations on that. Uh, good luck Sunday night, and well, we're gonna wrap it up. Here's the uh, the premiere. Some things never change. Dallas Smith and Hardy, Pure Country. Later.